Hey guys, Rudrick here, and welcome back to Life is Strange. Last time, well, we spent some time with Chloe, and she's in a wheelchair. She was in a very bad accident. But she needs her morphine, and we're gonna help her out. And obviously, to go into the house, oh, there's her dad. Let's, uh, let's look around real quick. They gave Chloe their giant, expensive HDTV. And they use our shitty tube television. Mm-hmm. Also, we have messages. Let's see. Let's see. It looks like there's some messages between the two of them. Max, are you you busy, girl? Affording homework as usual. I told you I'd help you out. You never let me help me out, though. Okay, drama, stop. And you help me by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored that killer bud from you know who. F Y L. Save me a bowl. Got a balance T T Y L. Come by my room tonight. Let's see here, and then two days later, Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door's open. Love you. And it looks like things are definitely different. Uh, whoop, 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 what's... Let's see. Dad. Have a very... Yeah, that's, uh, same. Hey, Max, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw that teepee at me. Oh my god, I was trying to name it you, I swear. Don't do it again. Ooh. Taylor. Yeah, right, I cried like a bee. So did I, you just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone's about to die, so call me back. And then... Nathan. In the dark room, developing shots for the contest. Sweet, so not too well for you. Not yet, I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. Yeah, it looks like we're friends with all these jerkwads. Uh, maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later. I have to go. Don't pout. Love you. Hey, honey, I hope you did. Oh, yeah, that's same here. Um, Chloe. Cool, I got a buttload of homework, but we'll get to you soon. Don't tease me if it's too long. I know, I'll see you soon. And we did go see Chloe. I didn't miss anybody, did they? But yeah, it looks like life is definitely different for Max. Um, let's see, any diary? No, no, no. And then this all looks relatively the same. Let's see what else we can examine here. Ooh, paper. Damn, this is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Holy crap. Overdue payment, $8,587. E. Eiffel Tower. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Yeah. And that is information we will need when we talk to Chloe's father. What is this? Newspaper. Let's look at that first. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Oh yeah, they provide extra research funds. Rachel Amber this. is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. No, so she's still missing, so it looks like we didn't fix much at all. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. Ooh. That's terrible. Yeah, medical stuff is not cheap, especially when insurance sucks. I know that I've been through something similar. Hey, William. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good, or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Um, Chloe? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. Yeah. She's been a trooper. Glad you're here. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her and be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William? Oh, man. I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Uh, Joyce. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. If 
Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Not all. Uh, Rachel Amber. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit. Pardon my French. <laughs> I, I, I like that description. Now is Chloe and Joyce, my family. Speaking the of families, Scott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. Huh. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Okay, room. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Yeah, no, seriously. Helps, but I, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. Ridiculously hard. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... But we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? Uh, no? A nice one. Let's talk about the Paris so trip. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. I can't either. Well, it was a great experience. Especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I have oh, to go is. see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. <laughs> oh, man. it It's really good to see him. Don't change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Yeah, unfortunately. Choice is a food coupon boss. Well, that's a good thing to have around. I used to work retail, so I, I know how those extreme couponers can be. Holy crap. Alright, I don't think there's anything... Oh, I don't even... Yeah, I don't even think I want to listen to messages on that, if, even if they had it. Um, whoop, 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 whoop. I had something I could read. I think it was flyers. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Oh, man, they're selling as much as they can. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Yep. There's a credit card company. Physical rehab. Just a ridiculous amount of bills. Stuff adds up. Stuff really adds up, and it's crazy freaking expensive. All right, what's in here? This is was Chloe's room. Looks way different than it did in the other reality. Might as well look around. Poster. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I don't think it is. Closet. But at least we never had to hide from Step Douche. Step Douche doesn't exist anymore. I guess we stopped growing up together. At some point. Sit down and reflect on a couple of things. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. Yeah. It would be better if she never knew about it. Family again, and who am I to judge? Well, with this great power comes great responsibility. 
pretty freaking unfortunate. Like, it, it's almost like no matter what. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying, staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. Well, I mean, it. he's sending what he can. I really have to give him that. I mean, it looked, I'm, I'm going to say that he's single and just working himself to death. Like yours truly some days anyway. And he's just sending what he can to help. I mean, it's, he can't visit them, so he's doing Shoes. what he can. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Mm -hmm. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. But we don't really have time for that. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Oh. Really wish she could. Not a letter. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I am so sorry that I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm under water with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. Yeah, the press cuts could make a big difference here, but it looks like they don't. And I could go on a tirade about that, but I'm not going to. In here, there's the bathroom. Can we go in here? It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Yeah, something's going on. Wonder what's in here. Oh, there's Joyce. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Look at them. Hmm. They have no idea what's in their future. No, they don't. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. I'm gonna say it was her dad. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Oh, be the family hero. He's a good father. He really is. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Oh man. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent am anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand that the reality is that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Best, Dr. Antine Phipps. Oh, man. That's sad. That is sad. Joy wait. Joyce is already a super mom. Definitely. And then Ashtray, she's smoking? Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years, after the accident. Chloe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. Oh, well, kids That's why it's do, so really. so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one. 
no matter what. I'm into that. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Life isn't easy anywhere. A lot of work. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. Yeah. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay yeah. away from his son, Nathan. David Madsen? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just <laughs> curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Eco havoc. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. I don't blame Except you at all. Now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. Oh no. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. William. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. <laughs> Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Chloe and William. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Daddy's girl. It's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. This is so freaking sad. I mean, as great as it is that they're a family, it comes at the cost of Chloe being in a wheelchair. Like, ugh. Ugh. I hate, I hate this. I, I do have to mention, this is probably one of my least, th this might be my least favorite part of Life is Strange, just because it's so tough. The writing's good and the game's good through it, but it just, Nothing uh. here. It's so hard to watch this. It really is. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. You may be, actually. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Yep. Well, I looked in that one, now it's looking this one. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Uh, I don't even want to cool think about that. Chloe uses natural medicine too. Eh, it's Chloe, of course she would. Well, oh, let's yeah. All right, let's go ahead and go back down. And we'll sneak past our good old pal William and well. Let's go deliver morphine to Chloe, as much as, as depressing as that sounds. Hey, Chloe. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but... Get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. We good? Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. I'm glad about Max, that. I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. Sure thing. 
My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. No. Uh, where was it again? <laughs> uh, I think it was in here. Oh my god. No, I no, 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 no. I have forgotten where it is. I'm an idiot. Nope. Uh, crap. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Wait, we didn't look through here, did we? Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Seriously. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. As a principal, I'm in sympathy with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regard to her wheelchair and class accessibility. Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full compliance under the ADA Act. However, with, given that the campus and buildings have all been constructed pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern innovations necessary to fulfill the needs of your daughter. Dad, sadly, with recent deplorable funds, kids, kids, it will take many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell, but that day will come. Yeah, so in other words... They said, oh, we can't do it. Now, this may tempt you to really say that I should have stolen the money. But I had my reasons for not doing it. Um, Alrighty, let's take this. Alright, Chloe. Let's check out some photos. I'm gonna go for a little length today. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. Hmm. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. I knew you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. <laughs> Let's turn the page. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Mm. There's still time for you. Turn another page. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Mm. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable oh, no. while my parents suffer along. And I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Oh, man. Ugh. I hate this choice. I absolutely hate this one. There's only one other one I hate the I hate more or as much, really. Mm, I don't know. I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. 
How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. It's not the same way! I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. Oh no. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. I can't do it. <sighs> Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't. Kill you with an overdose. God, no. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. It's still freaking overdose. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. <sighs> no, she's pissed, but... All right, I made my decision and I chose not to kill her. What happens if we focus on the photo this time? Find out next time on Rudrick Plays Life is Strange. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. <laughs>